Good, yeah. Where's your clothes? You lied to me. Well, I thought it was over, but it's not. So you better learn to get over it. Well, now I don't feel so bad about sleeping with Karen. You said with Karen. She wasn't even with you when it happened. So what? You know I love her. Jesus. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I kissed someone else. Oh. I guess he just doesn't want to love me. Let's just call it fun, but done. Done. I think it's best, don't you? Sure. There's an old song that says there must be 50 ways to leave your lover. How do you leave someone emotionally and psychologically? Lion heart, lion heart. And how can you tell when it is absolutely over? They can still be with you in your heart and head, even if they're not physically present. You need a clear signal like a bell to ring to let us know that it's... it's over. in a row. Doesn't that bother you? I thought you two were friends. Well, Kelly can do whatever she likes. Yeah, I know that, but if you're in a house, shouldn't you have certain responsibilities? Like, not disappearing? I've texted her so many times and she's only replied once. I should tell her that's rude. Yeah, well, you know. We need to talk about this. I think we need to concentrate on the task at hand. This is the third work session you've missed. Really? Has it been that many? It greatly affects my schedule. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really starting to wonder if I can rely on you. This project is significantly behind. Yeah, of course you can. It's just that I've been really busy. Anymore. Great minds. 
There's a message for you. Adam, hi, it's Shannon. Um, sorry when you're at home. There's some sort of stuff up with the bank in Adelaide and they're hassling me about it. Could you give them a call and sort it out? That'd be great, thanks. Bye. Pheasant farming. It's an investment tax loss type thing. How does it work? What? Pheasant farming. I mean, are they just for eating, or can you use them for oil and feathers and stuff? What do you care? Well, maybe I'd like to invest. You don't have any money. I might have some savings that you know nothing about. <laughs> yeah, right. You spend everything you win on booze and ciggies. Then maybe I'm just interested for future reference. Forget it, Nick. It's really not worth the effort. You know, you should really water those. Not my problem. Christian should have taken them with him. It'd be a pity to let them die. I feel like an icy bowl. I feel like an icy bowl. Sure. Make it a red one. Stew. Nick. Did you know Adam invested in pheasants? No. Some woman called Shannon left a message for him asking about money. Really? Well, it's weird he never said anything. You know what he's like. Karen. Hi. Just dropping the boy off as arranged. I don't know anything about this. I left a message with Christian. Didn't he tell you? I guess not. God, you boys are hopeless. Go yeah, right. Come on. Christian's not around? No. Where is he? Going to Mwollomba, checking out some permaculture farm. When's he coming back? <sighs> I don't know, maybe never. That's all a bit sudden. What's your obsession with Christian? Just wondering, that's all. Why, so you can find him and fuck him again? Is there anyone else I should know about, you know, while we're on the subject? My records say two, but then I'd have no idea, would I? I'm going. I wasted my best years on you, seven of them. I'll be back for Buddha tomorrow. Good. Just keep imagining him together having sex. I, I wonder if he's better at it than I am. I mean, which of course is impossible. Well, if that was true, she wouldn't have stayed with you. Maybe. It's tricky when there's kids involved. Good boy. Matcha. Hey. Come on, boy. I, I just I can't stop thinking about it. What they did and what they said, what I said, what I should have said. It just keeps going round and round. It's driving me nuts. You know what you should do? Write it down. What, write my letter? No, not necessarily. Just write it all down on a piece of paper without censoring anything. It'll help you clear your head out. Did you get this from Oprah? <laughs> Well, give me closure. It'll help you see what's going on. I know what's going on. My best mate fucked my girlfriend. Couldn't even look at me. Hardly said a word all day, not even a goodbye. Oh, you broke up with him. You know, you're having fun with somebody else. Of course he's going to be a prick. Well, he shouldn't. Well, he has to. That's one of the rules. Oh, we'll suck. Ah, oh, forget about it. You're out of there. Come here. I think you should cook me dinner at your house tonight. My house? I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I know. So? Well, I like your house. You got a big kitchen, spa, DVD player. Is there something that you're hiding from me, like somebody you don't want me to meet? No, it's not that. Well, then let's go. No. I want you to myself. <laughs> you so need to get some colour. 